Hello and welcome back to part 4 of Kerbal Space Program. Today we are um, we're going to the to Jewel and its moons. And as you see here I've managed to get my uh, orbit just right so that when I come out of Perhaps behind the sun I should be just about in the vicinity of Jewel but I will have to make a, a few little burn changes when I reach Perapsis. So here goes. Also, you might want to see um, some improvements I've made to the ship. I'll quickly slow that down. Okay, so we've got a, a grey interior rather than a red interior because on the sets of the TV show it was red. And we've got this thing here at the back now, which before, it, um, if you've seen some of my docking test clips, um, you'll notice that I was having difficulty finding a way of being able to capture a spacecraft in flight because if I just left Starbuck in there as it is uh, it would just rattle around and knock the ships a bit so it has to be held firmly somehow and I figured that if I had a second flight I could just capture that second flight with this and um, yeah I've redone the uh, hull texture of the uh, the docking bay here um, if I want to I can open and close the docking bay I'm letting all the air out. Let out the alien queen. Ah! <laughs> My radar's not very good. You can see through it all. And oh no. Shall we go for a little EVA inside it? I think I might go, uh, Just let myself, uh, stay dead still first, because if the spin ship spins around loads, I fly out of the ship. That's the problem. So now we go, uh, EVA. Quick save first. Count quick save. So we get in, we quick save. Then we go for an EVA just in case, because this uh, ship is still a bit buggy. But I want to show you the fact that this is a, a totally EVA free. There we go, see, I can go all around this room here, so I think I've won the uh, award for the biggest room in space. Don't you think? I still need to do all these decks and things, but um, it's not a bad little ship, is it? Uh-oh. If I can grab onto that now. Uh oh, see if I can grab, come on, grab. There, got it. And I can go crew hatch. F to board. F to board, there we go. And I'm back in the control of the ship. So you see, it's possible to go from the docking bay to the uh, command deck. And it's not that hard. Uh, I could probably do with some better ladders and things. Um, so yeah, anyway, we'll carry on with the rest of our journey. Where are we now? Here we go. So we'll simply uh, warp time a bit now. Whizz. Okay, and now we're here, we're going to do a, a slight change of burn tactic. We're going to do uh, an insane thing that you wouldn't do unless you had loads of fuel, but say you do eventually get hold of a, I don't know, a deuterium star drive or something. This is how you do it. You really just want to be headed uh, sort of backwards 
and straight to the sun at the same time, if that makes sense. So retrograde and at the sun. So if I'm headed, uh, there we go, there's my retrograde. So 270 is a good angle to follow. The reason being, I'll show you in a second. It's because, do you see this, this uh, periapsis thing here? Basically, when you go retrograde, um, this circle becomes smaller at periapsis and apoapsis, okay? When you go at 90 degrees, um, it turns it round, which is what I'm trying to do now. And when you go prograde, you just go forwards more in that direction, so it makes the big, big direction bigger. And when you go due north or due south, you make this uh, elliptical a bit more straight, so you've got on the same plane. So we're not on the same plane, oh my god, man, trying to do that is just ridiculous. It can be done. I think the Apollo astronauts did it, but um, it, it's best not to do it if you can be avoided. I've done a bit, of a, a bit of remapping on the text on the whole. Do you like it? I think it's quite cool. I've done lots of like little polygons and things because it looked just flat and boring, and uh, I've cleared up all those little gaps between them as well now. So it's all like looks like it's proper airtight inside. You see what I mean? Um, bit by bit, uh, this project's coming along, and I'm really happy with it. And I think it might be wise to close the docking bay door now. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead with that as well. You've seen the other in space. Can we repressurize this yet? Yay, hey, we've closed the airlock door. That is one big hydraulic cylinder, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I mean, I like looking at some other people's Kerbal videos, but when I had the ability to design my own parts and I've designed enough parts to build my entire own ship from scratch. I'm, I'm very happy with that. I mean, other people say, oh, it's a cheap pack, whatever. But I think, like to think about it, it's, it's, a, it's a separate game. You know, it's, it's like uh, I'm Red Dwarf here, and I'm going to be going to Jupiter. It's like Jupiter mining for a while. Oh, 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 look at that, look at that. I found a... I found Junior Paralapsis. How cool is that? Here's the trick. It's just a question of getting a balance between... Um, Make sure it's dead on. Alright, it's dead on now. We're going to like directly collide with it. We've got to try and keep that rate as fine as possible. you're spinning out of control. Very good piece of advice there. And what's the score here? We're well, uh, a bit too far north, so we need to go a little bit south as well, don't we? So we need to go straight down a little bit south. Two planes there, down to a T now. Maybe 
basically want to be headed straight into the sun now, don't you? So straight down. 